Good morning, everyone. I have to let my cat in for the morning. He scratches on the on the sliding glass door until somebody comes in, <laughs> brings him in, or lets him in. But um, I just woke up about 10 or 15 minutes ago. Uh, Nick is already at work. It's about 8 a.m. My little baby boy is not awake yet. So um, this has actually been happening a lot more recently. He doesn't wake up whenever we wake up. <clears throat> so I have a little bit of time to drink some coffee and just kind of chill and get myself together before the day starts. So that's been a real, a real treat lately. And I hope that it continues. So um, yeah, we'll see when he wakes up but I thought that I would do a vlog today to kind of let you see a little bit of what I do on a normal daily basis because I feel like normally whenever I vlog which I haven't done it too awful much but um you see like kind of exciting things happening in my life which don't take that wrong I don't have a lot of exciting things happening in my life but like you see me going shopping or going to actually go and do something but I thought that I would kind of um be a little bit more chill today and show you the real real and show you what really goes on so um it's not that exciting but maybe some of you will want to see so I'll see you in a sec so I'm sitting here drinking my coffee and a lot of times in the mornings I like to listen to my um, I like to listen to my horoscope and some people believe in it some people don't it's really all personal preference but whether it's true or not I still like to listen to it because I think that it's interesting and sometimes it really does line up with some of the things that are going on in my life so um, I like to listen to her name is Lada L A D A and I think the last name is Dencheva. I think I think it may be Russian or something like that. But um, I'll leave her link below. I really like her her readings. Um, they seem to be pretty accurate, and um, she has a very um, soothing voice. And I know that might sound weird, but I really do like to um, watch people's videos who have like a really nice, um, relaxing voice. <laughs> uh, I think. Let's see. Uh, love lisa love M melissa michelle yeah love melissa michelle her voice is so soothing and like raspy and like not raspy but just it's kind of sexy but not in like a weird way she just has like an attractive voice and that might be weird i don't know but um i really like to listen to her talk because <laughs> i feel like she has a very uh strong voice so um, speaking of voice, I, whenever I wake up in the mornings and I try to talk, it seems like I can't because it's all, uh, you know, I think everybody's like that to an extent, but we sleep with, um, uh, window air conditioning, like, I don't know, maybe 15 foot across the room and it blows straight on us and we like it really cold so um it like dries my throat out at night but drinking some coffee i've been drinking the starbucks breakfast blend um we have a membership to bj's and it's like a wholesale club type thing and we buy these massive boxes and um, you can get them for like $35 for like 80 to 100 I don't know how many, maybe like, we're going to say 90 for 90 little K-Cups. And I feel like that's a really good deal because you can't go to Starbucks 90 times and pay $35. <laughs> you go to Starbucks 90 times and pay like, well you pay like $5 every time you go. So what's the math on that? Four hundred and fifty dollars. You people who go and get coffee every single day. I mean, I'm not judging, but what's wrong with you? That's a lot of money. See, this is my cat wanting to get out after I just let him in. Titus. He just does this until somebody lets him out. He actually does it at night too and it's actually really annoying but I was actually considering I don't know why I keep saying actually but 
I was considering doing, uh, filming some kind of video today. Um, I really want to do a blog post on a lot of my favorite books because I really love makeup and beauty and skincare and stuff like that, but I have a lot of other interests that I haven't really explored into with, um, like the blog, which my blog is brand new, so I really haven't done, I've only done one post on it, but... Um, with my YouTube and stuff and just kind of like a book review of like a lot of the books I've been loving this summer and I was thinking maybe to do it every season because even though I love to read I'm not a slow reader but I'm not a fast reader either and I kind of get distracted sometimes like as in I'll be really into a book but uh, I only want to commit like I don't know, an hour a day to reading it, and I could probably get through like two or three chapters in an hour, and um, yeah, maybe not that much, maybe more like only two chapters, but then the next day, you know, I'll be doing something, and I won't have time, and I'll just be like, oh, I just want to lay down in bed and go to sleep, so yeah, it's just one of those things that it just takes me like probably a month or two. <laughs> It's so sad to say, but probably a month or two to actually get through an entire book. But yeah, I was thinking about doing that. And I really want to do another lookbook for you guys. Um, I have a lot better ideas of how to do it. So that maybe this one will be a little bit um, more appealing to the eye uh, than the last one. But summer's almost over and I really need to do it because there's only like one more month. Not even a month, like 20 days left to be able to wear like summery stuff so well you can wear it in September but actually it's really hot where I live in September so you could probably wear these things for like at least another month maybe even more than halfway through September because it's like 80 or 85 degrees in September where I live so and it's even hot during the day in October, but cold during the night and in the morning, so. So, yeah, but, um, nothing special going on today. Uh, like I said, I want to get some blog work done, but I really need to work in my flower bed and weed that stuff. I might do that instead. I don't know. We'll see, but, um. Yeah, just waiting on little dude to wake up, and yeah. So Nick and I have been trying to plan um, finishing our house, and um, just kind of so we can be on the same page. And I was watching this um, YouTuber, her name is Raven Elise, and I will leave all the links to these people's channels um, in the description bar, but... Um, I was watching one of her vlogs and she is about to move into um, a new loft and uh, she has been using this feature that Pottery Barn has on their website where you can plan out your room and um, kind of just place all the furniture and all kinds of stuff, windows, chairs, I mean there's really, there's really no limit to what you can do but um, I decided to use it myself, so Nick and I put our brains together, and I wanted to show you um, what we have planned for our basement. And our basement is completely unfinished. We can't even get to it from the floor that we live in. There's no stairs built yet, so um, it's just kind of a dark and dingy place right now, but um, this is what we have planned for it. Okay, as you can see... This is going to be the stairs, and it's just going to be a spiral staircase, and there'll be walls, but I didn't know how to put the walls in, so I just kind of did the furniture and stuff, but this is a bathroom, got a shower, toilet, sink, and this is a dining room, I mean, very casual dining room uh, set right here, and then we've got a kitchen with a stove and fridge and a few cabinets and here's a window right here and this is the sink um, here's a pool table because it's going to be like an entertainment area as well and here's a spare bedroom with a closet and um, the dresser and the bed and another window 
Here's the double doors that go outside. And over here is the entertainment type area. And here is the couch set that we have, that I'm sitting on right now. We're going to uh, move this down, this set down there. So here's a fireplace and there's a TV on top. And then this right here will be my office with a desk and a chair and two filing cabinets. So that's just kind of a little basic um, basic explanation of what the basement's gonna look like. And we have a, a floor, a half a floor above us that we haven't scheduled, scheduled that we haven't planned um, to do anything with yet. I mean, we know that our son is gonna live up there, but we haven't like actually went in and planned it like we did the basement, so. It's probably going to be another two years before we can actually do all of that stuff um, in the basement because my husband built this house himself and he really wants to continue that with this house and um, he works like seven, six or seven months out of the year, maybe more than that, but um He's only available to do it in the winter, so we have kind of a um, sparse amount of time. And it also takes money, too, so it's probably going to take us that long to get enough money um, going so that we can actually do what we want. But I was going to show you, this has been one of my favorite YouTube channels lately, and it's... Um, it's a show that I found on PBS, which is, um, it's like Georgia's public broadcasting system, um, channel, and it's channel 8 in America, or maybe not in all America, but definitely in Georgia, and, um, he travels all over Europe, and he, like, tells you, um, tips and, like, travel guide tips type thing of where to go and where to stay, and, how to dine and you know just a little bit about each of the places that he goes and he goes everywhere I mean this guy has like 900 videos or something crazy so so yeah I really like to watch him good morning We are about to go take Nick some lunch. Um, every day since Nick has been working and not being able to come home for lunch, um, Nicholas and I go to wherever he is, whichever field he's in, and we take him lunch and just kind of hang out um, for a little bit so that we have a little bit more time together. Um, this past week, Nick has worked he added up his hours yesterday or last night and he um, he worked 82 and a half hours so he was waking up at like 4 30 a.m. and going in at 5 and not coming home sometimes until 10 o'clock at night so we haven't really seen him a lot um, lately and going to see him at lunch is a good way for us to um, of get through that but the good part about his job is that um, he doesn't have to work all year round I mean he still works but it's not the same like he'll um, he'll only work a couple days a week doing like miscellaneous things like um, changing the oil and tractors and stuff like that but inside work because it's cold here um, in the winter but um, 
that's really one of the upsides about him working where he does. Um, so, yeah. Um, I'm probably going to be doing some work outside today. I thought about doing a blog post, but I may just either do that tonight or tomorrow. But I really need to weed. Um, <clears throat> get some of these weeds out of the flower garden. Because Nick and I have been working really, really hard whenever he does have time off to get our flower bed looking the way that we want it to look. So we transplanted a bunch of, of stuff yesterday and we gave the, or we, gosh, okay, I'm going. All right. Um, we just bought a, a new push mower, our very first lawnmower as a family, but let me just show you my flower bed just so you have a little idea. Um, you can't really see it too well in depth, but I will definitely show you more of it. But we're really proud of it. Nick and I both enjoy gardening. And the fact that he's a farmer, he definitely loves to plant things and do th stuff like that. But back to the lawnmower situation, our, our lawn got a haircut because we bought a new lawnmower. Our first family lawnmower, it's a push mower. And we were both so proud of it, and we still are very proud of it. But um, haven't had the chance to put on makeup today, but we will do that whenever um, I get home and probably whenever Nicholas takes a nap. So i um, driving in the car down the driveway, so I can't drive with little man in the car and film at the same time, so I will see you soon. We're back at home and I just fed my little guy some lunch. He had a banana and peanut butter sandwich with some blueberries on the side. And earlier I had a uh, Philly cheesesteak that I made with some leftover um, beef roast that I had made a couple days ago. So that was really good. Um, we took Nick lunch and I still haven't had a chance to put on makeup yet but I probably won't put it on until like later in the day and I probably won't put on that much because um, if I do go somewhere it's just gonna be to the grocery store and frankly I really don't care if I look 100% at the grocery store so yeah I don't usually go without makeup to the grocery store I mean I have before but I really just a little bit at least but um I'm about to go um, weed outside in the flower bed. I don't, I'm a little bit uh, afraid to do it because my cat was just trying to catch something in there and I, I wasn't sure if it was a mole or a snake and he was digging in the dirt so I'm kind of assuming that it's a mole. I'm praying that it was a mole. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Um, I don't know if I mentioned but I just put Nicholas down for a nap. Um, I work outside, but it's so close to the house that I can hear him whenever he wakes up because in the uh, afternoons when he wakes up from his naps, he's usually not very happy. So he like cries when he wakes up, but um, yeah, I can hear him from where I'm at. But um, earlier this morning between the last time that I talked to you and now, or not the last time I talked to you, the two times before that, before we went to take Nick's lunch, um, I pulled out the couches and swept everything and vacuumed the rug and um, started some laundry and really just straightened things up from the weekend because the house gets so messy over the weekend. I just, I really don't clean on the weekends because when Nick's home I just find that it's a waste of time because we don't really get very much time together so I just kind of let things go. I mean I'll do the dishes occasionally like if they're really bad and that kind of stuff but I don't clean like I normally do on a daily basis on the weekends so had to clean up from that and um, clean uh, the porch up a bit because Nicholas likes to throw sand from his sandbox all over the deck and the birds I have two bird feeders on my back deck and they are so messy like when they eat they just leave the shells they just fall on the ground so I have to sweep it like once or twice a week so I had to do that and now I'm going to go outside and clean my car out and vacuum it because I'm very embarrassed <laughs> at how dirty it is. It's not that it's like, well it's it's pretty dirty, but like I've got all the trash and stuff out of it mostly. Um, not that I like keep trash in there, but there was like some um, 
trash junk mail in there and like some some pieces of clothing of Nicholas's that needed to be washed but he just throws his snacks in the floor sometimes like raisins or those like little rice puffs and just anything that I put in his little cup holders so I mean somehow like half of it ends up on the floor and in his car seat so I'm gonna go do that and clean all that up and vacuum it out and um, then I'm gonna try like I said and pull some weeds in the flower bed but I don't know if I'll get to that today I think I will but it's supposed to storm today but it may miss us so I'm gonna do what I can with the time that I have um, so yeah it's about uh it's probably like 12 o'clock right now yeah it's probably about 12 o'clock but i was actually doing some research on pinterest on like different ways to decorate your porch for fall and i found this really cool idea to do like a wreath for your door out of indian corn and the the little ones and my family owns a farm that just so happens to sell that kind of stuff in the fall so I'm going to try and do some do-it-yourself stuff and put it on my blog. So look out for that. Um, it, it'll be within the month, I'm sure. But Okay, I will see you guys in a few. Alright, we are in the car again. I've put a little bit of makeup on, as you can see. Um, I worked outside today. I did clean the car out. I did weed the um, flower bed as much as possible. And I am... Uh, hair is looking a mess but um, we are on our way to the grocery store so